We are sitting down with Natasha Woodak, who just finished third in the Scotiabank Vancouver Half Marathon. <laughs> How did it go today? <laughs> well, um, it was all right. I mean, it was definitely difficult. Um, I think I was a little ambitious to start. I went out with Lanny and Krista for the first 3K, and it was fast. We went through 3K in like 940 something, and um, I it was too hard for me, and I didn't have anything in my legs, and I knew right away that <laughs> it was going to be tough. So I slowed down to a more comfortable pace and tried to relax down the big hills and try to get myself in a better rhythm. Around 12K, I really um, I kind of hit a wall and <laughs> cramped up a bit and um, contemplated dropping out. <laughs> um, but you know, stayed mentally focused, stayed positive, tried to relax, and took a gel, got some gator in me, and was able to push through and um, yeah, finish kind of strong. The last 3K were pretty good, and um, I'm surprised that I was still able to run under 115 considering I was struggling out there today but I'm, I'm still happy now the struggle was probably mainly because like uh, three days ago you were across <laughs> the country and in Moncton running the, the, the Canadian championships uh, and you won the 10,000 meters uh, so what's it been like you, you how was the 10,000 meter race and what's it like like traveling with you know that's that's a huge amount of distance to cover in a few days um, yeah um, I definitely was happy with my race in Moncton. Um, you know, there wasn't much competition. It was kind of a solo effort, but I ran what I wanted to do. I ran the pace I wanted to run and, and ran strong. So that was um, that was really good. And um, I was already going into that race feeling uh, my legs were a little tight. My calves were really um, cramped up and stuff. So running 25 laps on the track and spikes did not help. So. The last two days I've been trying to recover a bit, do some easy running, just my ice bath and get my legs feeling good again, but my calves are just like, they're shot and <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, like today was not about trying to win or even run a good time, it was just about putting in a good solid effort. Um, it's an ASICS race, I'm an ASICS athlete and I wanted to support the race and um, have some fun out there and you know, like taught me to be tough for sure right like there was not much going on in my legs today so it was all up here that kept me um, kept me going and so it was good yeah but the jet lag was not too much of a factor I mean I was in Moncton for only two days so um, I didn't really try to adjust while I was there I usually travel pretty well you know it's good. so do you uh, what do you think and you look down the line summer fall do you have any plans from here on in I'm going to take a little bit of a break right now and just sort of rest and regroup and uh, I need a mental and physical break from running for sure. And then I'm, uh, I don't have any races planned until September so I'm going to take the uh, summer to just train and get in some good mileage and refocus and um, you know in the fall um, possibly Francophone Games, uh, the 10,000 meters in France and then maybe come back and do 10K Nationals in Toronto. Um, there's a possibility of a half marathon, um, there's been talk of a full marathon, but um, that's still up in the air. Um, maybe cross country nationals, I mean, we don't know, I'm going to sit down and, and really kind of figure out what, what I want to do and where I want to be, so. Nice. Thanks for talking to us. Thanks Michael Doyle! <laughs> <laughs>